Hey yo, welcome back everybody to Book, the man with the guns, the man with the buns, longest in the east, widest in the west, the final episode, from what I know, I'm not including any bonus episodes that happened, but during the last live stream, I gathered up the ritual endings, challenger medal, and the dragon egg. And I don't think that video hit enough likes, hit our like goal. I don't remember what the like goal was. So no, I'm not fighting Supreme Calamitas. But uh, if this video hits 200 likes, I'll do it. All right, bonus episode, I'll do it. But it has to hit 200 likes in one day. That's that's the that's the the rules. All right. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, let me make sure all my accessories are good. We're gonna switch out this accessory. But yeah, we should be good. We should be good. Everything should have warding. Sorry for any background noise. There's like people doing construction work. Not construction work, like maintenance work, some shit like that. But uh, let's go ahead. We need to actually go back. We need to get the challenger to move out there. So it's way easier. You know, we can actually fight him in our arena. So let's go make a boxinator. Boom. But yeah, sorry for sound weird. I just woke up. It's like really late. <laughs> Took like a nap. My sleep schedule is real weird, guys. I don't know how to fix it at all. Let's put it up here in the sky. And let's put, where's he at? What's he looking like? There you go. Boom. And then we make it nighttime. And then make it daytime. And we challenge him. Wait, hold up. Let me turn this on. Boom. And then we challenge him. Oh. I need the metal first. And then one more time. Then we challenge him. Let's do it, boys and girls. It is time that we went up against a real matchup here. You know what I'm saying? A real manly matchup. Look how much damage I did to him before he even activated. What is that shit? <laughs> There's a lot of room here. So he doesn't have a lot of room to be hiding in. Yeah, we have some weapons. I don't know. Yeah, these are weapons from the live stream, so you guys don't even know. So we've got some weapons in our inventory here. Um, some of them are pretty good. The problem is, I don't know how often I'm going to hit them with these. Let me do... Uh, activate this. The fuck he is, but it's all good. He's going through walls, so even if he did like run away, we can chase him very easily. This should be a fairly simple fight, though. In our health drain. It's all good. Okay, it's not really that good. I forgot. Oh my god, I forgot he has a DPS thing. Alright, this boss really sucks. <laughs> this boss sucks ass. If we die because of this, Jesus Christ. Alright, um, I'm sorry. Pinion goes straight out the window. I completely forgot this boss has the dumbest DPS uh, stopper. If you do too much DPS, he just regens all of his health. That's really fucking stupid. <laughs> if Dan from Sacred Tools watches, that's really fucking stupid. You need to drop an update soon, bro. Fuck a sprite. Fuck all the sprites. Drop an update that fix the AI of the bosses, man. Now I gotta... That thing's like... Out of all the options to stop you from doing DPS, you regens all his health? Like... <laughs> That's so bad. That's so bad. But now we'll take our time during this fight. He's already off the screen 90% of the fight. And when he's on the screen, I can only hit him a couple of times. <laughs> so let's, let's be careful here. We don't want to restart this fight again. That should be already be done. Because I had him at like no health. Or at least I had him at like a quarter. Like, I'm scared to hit him. What is the, what is the DPS thing? What is this DPS thing to where I was barraging him with a million hits and then all of a sudden it's like, you know what, fuck. I'm scared. That was like 15k DPS. I don't know, I feel like this always happens with this boss where I forget he has a DPS meter and then I had to like take the fight really slow. Uh, but we're not gonna lose this. The only part about, you know, him having the DPS limit is the fact that the DPS limit not only like regens all his health, but it nearly kills you if you don't have a lot of health like I do. You saw how my health drained all the way to like 300, 400. Like, what is that shit? <laughs> it's got like a lifesteal thing that kills you to regen his health. But it it actually kills you. Like it doesn't slowly kill you. That shit will kill you. So I don't fuck with that either. Like like I said, if you're a sprider, go like join Sacred Tools. Go message the creator of Sacred Tools. Help him sprite so he could drop the update. I'm tired of this old sacred tool. This mod has so much potential. 
but we're just stuck with what we have right now. Not saying that it's a bad mod, but like, there's so much more to it. There's so much more that could be shown from it. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. What are these? We have 42 plating. I don't know what to get. That only does 400 damage. Crystal Burster Phaser Rifle. Uses Asterolite Astro Rockets as ammo. Contains 333. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm not even going to worry about any of that. 333. What do you mean 333? What's that? We got some pants. Okay. I'll take some pants. Oh, there's a jacket too. Doesn't really look like a jacket if I'm being honest. Uh, it's a mana thing. We talk about how that how that accessory sucks for being the last accessory too. It's a mage only accessory. I don't like that. I like uh, expert weapons and well, weapons are okay, but accessories. I like accessories to be open ended. That's an expert accessory, right? No, it's not. It's just an accessory. But yeah, for that being the final boss for Sacred Tools, hopefully they do a lot of. I don't know. I'm interested to see what they do for updates. Sacred Tools isn't a bad mod. Don't get me wrong. Sacred Tools is not a bad mod. Just the AI for a lot of the bosses are not that good. It's just they don't feel right. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's do the ritual of endings. I am ready for this. Not at all. I'm lying. Shit, I already forgot how this goes. Oh my god. Kill me. It's, I have to restart the fight already. <laughs> I lost a life. I need all those lives. Go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you. It takes a little bit while to kill you. Is that a pentagram? Evil. I'm gonna get fucking demonetized now. Terraria YouTuber demonetized because Terraria boss had a pentagram in the middle of the fight. All right. So I don't know where the hell the nurse is. I'm not, I'm not gonna worry about it. Let's do it again. I already forgot how to fight this boss. Where's this laser at? Oh my god. Am I gonna get hit again because of this? I better fucking not. Oh my god! Alright, so I got my hands on, uh, whatever. What did I get my hands on? Oh, the thing I'm flying around in. Let's do this again. And let's hope we can actually do it this time. So he does the laser. You're on the opposite side. So you can easily outrun it. How do you go slow in this space bar? Okay. Oh god. I hate this one the most. Ah! Uh Please have mercy on my soul. We're probably gonna lose a life here. And the luck of the draw, honestly, when it comes to that attack. I don't know how to dodge an attack effectively. There's a bunch of squares that disappear and reappear. Do the thing where. Oh, no, this is fine. This is fine. Oh, shit. Okay, well. Down one life. <laughs> We're not even at the hard part yet, either. This is the worst thing. But it's all good, I guess, right? Oh, my God. This one sucks too. could probably win this still if I'm being 100% honest. I have the knowledge. Not the skills. I have the knowledge to do this part right here. Okay. Let's do it, baby. We're going to use the missile launcher. Oh, God. We're going to use the missile launcher for this. Which one's glowing? Okay, that one. And we're just going to launch his hand in that direction. Get over there. Shoot yourself. Sir, all right, that's one hit. Let's figure out what hand is the next one. It is the blue one again. Okay, okay. Let's uh not go too high. I have infinite flight, so I have to be careful. I'm assuming I hit him. Yeah, I did. Okay. So let's bring him back down. Because we're going extremely high up. But let me figure out what hand is the next one. What hand is the next one? I'm assuming it's a uh, light blue. Fuck, I got hit twice. Oh my god. It's blue again. <laughs> okay. Just stay away from him because we did get hit a lot. There you go. Heal up. Alright, next hand. Yeah, but really the hardest part, I think I, I'd rank this as the hardest part is this part right here. You gotta be really patient. Land all your hits correctly and while also dodging everything. And, uh, you also have to, well, no, that's really it. <laughs> but this part, this stage, the uh, second stage is the hardest. 
First stage, second hardest. Third stage, obviously easiest because you just kill him. This is bad. This is bad. Oh my god, that floor fucked me over. Okay, we still got the hit though, that's all that matters. Is that we still get that hit. The platforms have been fucking me over. I really feel like this uh, thing that I have on the premium shield should go through platforms. I don't know why Blue Magic has not programmed it to do so. Maybe just mounts in general don't do that. That might be 1.3.6 thing. I don't know. But hopefully, whatever, you know, whatever problem, whatever end the problem is on, gets fixed, fixed at some point in time. Out is not the time to lose. We're too deep into the fight. We're too deep into the fight. I'm going to consider this my first actual fight. Because the first two ones, I couldn't see the fucking laser. Like, the the targeting for the laser. I didn't know it spawned on you. Like I said, the, the gaps in between fighting these post Moonlord bosses are so long that I forget what happens every single time. Alright. So now we just kill him. Fight is over. You don't get to see much of this phase. And the reason why is because I don't want to see much of that phase. Well, there you go. There's that boss. Took me three tries. Realistically, it took me one because those two tries I died instantly. But there we go. Boss has been defeated. R.I.P. to that boss. One of my favorite post moon lord bosses, though. Do not get me wrong. But yeah, we got these crystals. I would never use these crystals in an actual fight or actual playthrough. And the main reason because it just don't do anything. <laughs> It literally doesn't do anything. Like, you're too far into the game already for it to really affect you. Yes. There you go. There's my one point. We went up like two defense. Uh, Misc defense. Endurance. Max health. We can put up our max health. Debuff immunities. Life regen 2. Cancels damage over time. I think that's pretty good. All right. But yeah, it is time to fight the one everyone has been waiting for, and that is Yarin. The big boy with the big toy. That sounds really weird. Uh, yarn. The, the dragon. Dragon. Get it? Like a dungeon? The dragon. It's pretty. It's pretty. Uh, what's the word? I don't know what the word is. It's pretty fitting that we are going to be going against, you know, the dragon. You like that? I, I like the play on words. That's why it's pretty fitting. Let me talk to this guy real quick. How much do his potions heal? They heal for 500, not that. They heal for 500. They heal for 400. Shit. I'll take it. I, I feel like we're only gonna need about 10 anyway, so. Not even too, I'm not even worried. Not even worried. Let's go to the jungle now. I don't know how long this episode will be or how short it is. You know, with my experience and knowledge, these boss fights should not be that long at all. They really shouldn't. But yeah, yarn. I don't exactly have an arena for yarn. We're just gonna, just gonna fucking freestyle, freestyle. Like I'm spinning, or like I'm, I think I'm rap. Like I'm spinning some bars. I don't know what the fuck I said spitting up. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna freestyle it. We'll figure it out when the time comes. When we really need to figure out what's going on in this fight. Out. Uh, yarn. Obviously a tough boss, the final one, right? It's the final boss of Calamity, right? The toughest, probably the most worked on boss, because of it being the last one. I mean, Calamity has a lot more bosses in mind, the bosses that haven't come out, and uh, Yarn, you know, he's just here for now, he's taking over as the king of the jungle. The prince of the jungle? I don't know, this is, I forget the lore. But not a bad boss to end off the mod on. Very tough. Unless you consider that one like Abomination, April Fool's thing. Be the last boss. What the hell was the name of that thing? Lord? <laughs> that thing. Unless you consider that a final boss. I, 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 I don't. But, uh, you know, to each their own, what they consider the final boss. And what they don't consider the final boss. I don't know what weapon to use here. I've just been using that bow this whole time. I don't remember when I ate. Alright. Let's uh, get stuck on something and lose some health. All good. No, we have homing on our arrows. 
What just happened? Oh, my game like froze from his death. That's how much his death affected me. My game fucking froze from it. I'm just trying to put off the damage, alright? Don't we have to fight this boss twice or some shit like that? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just hit something. I just hit something. Oh. Oh. We're dead if we get hit. What did I hit? What's the key for it? G? Cancel. Oh. I don't. How do I cancel it? Okay, that's how you cancel it. I hit the fucking. I don't know what I hit. I don't know what it's called, but I hit it, and that was really bad that I hit it. Because we got hit once, and we lost like 600 health or some shit. That was almost really bad. I would have been very upset because this boss fight was going good. Dude, I should just make this an open battlefield. This, these fucking platforms are fucking good. I hate this part. This part of the boss fight fucking sucks. She keeps teleporting into me. This is Duke Fisher on AI. I mean, I guess he does just have very refined Duke Fish on AI. Did we just kill him? There you go. <laughs> I just wanted him to be dead so I didn't have to deal with it. Cause that that you know switching of our armor ability, is it this? The juiced armor ability almost fucked me over. I fucking hit it on accident. I don't even know how I hit it on accident. Why is my hand on G? Why is it on G? I don't know. Wow, where did I get a mushroom statue? Did, did the truffle drop that? <laughs> okay, interesting. Uh so yeah. Open it. Wow. Beautiful fox drive. Then we got Drew's wings. Aren't these wings extremely good? Pretty sure they are, but like, does it really matter? <laughs> I don't think it matters that much. And then, of course, Yarm's GIF. Yarm's GIF is just really good. Plain and simple. There's not much to say about it. Damage increased by 25. Defense increased by 30, and damage increased by 15. I don't know what to replace though for it. This? The archaic powder, I guess? Uh, yeah, whatever. Hold on to that. What else do we get? Oh, the fox thing. Oh, it's just a pet? I mean, I like foxes and everything, but my pet, like, does something, so that's why I'm gonna hold on to my pet. We have a token, don't we? Or we can make a token. Yes, sir. Boom. We're gonna take this token, and we're gonna go ahead and reforge this gift that we got from Yarm. I appreciate it, Yarm. Thank you for the gift. Very nice person. <laughs> but what do we have to do? My dragon deems you unworthy, opponent. You must acquire the power of the dark sun. Oh my god. Alright. So, I guess I'll do that off camera. The dark sun shit, aka. Oh my god. Just click on the piggy bank. Jesus. That's why I always take this off. People are like, why do you take that off? Why don't you wear your soul? Do you forget to put on your soul? Did you see what just happened right there? Try to click it. <laughs> We got it that time. But look, every time I right click something, this is what happens. It's like a fucking earthquake. All right. The fucking health, the amount of health these enemies get post yarn. It's insane. <laughs> 780,000 health from Mothron. Now, all the regular enemies have like 100k plus. Jesus Christ. <laughs> all right. That's, that's good enough, right? Kill, kill the little moth. Dark Sun has been defeated. I killed the mini boss at it. I'm just gonna fly way up in the sky, make it daytime. Come back down. So I did a oopsie when I loaded into this world. Do I need to do anything with this? Uh, what I did was I accidentally, uh, what the fuck is it called? Loaded the wrong mod pack into this world. So a bunch of my weapons got un reforged. Very odd that that's one of the things that happened. Expect them just like shit up, just vanish from your inventory. Nah, they just get unreforged. That's about it. So let me talk. There's probably a bunch of NPCs that used to live here that might have despawned. I don't know how NPCs work. But uh, let me reforge some stuff. Okay, slow <laughs> and annoying. I didn't need to reforge this, I just did it anyways. Okay. Extinction bow. Like, all this stuff had good ass reforges to it. Like, it doesn't bother me. Because obviously we have a lot of money, it doesn't matter. But, uh, it's still kind of annoying. So I could be fighting the boss right now. <laughs> it's all good. Alright, so I think the fangasm, honestly, it might be better than the extinction bro. Obviously, it does less damage. 
but I don't know, man. We might have to DPS test this. Quick DPS test. Because the fangasm shoots a lot. Now, don't get me wrong. I tried to get more weapons for this finale. Let's, let's pay attention to this thing. It's about like 45k. It nearly reaches 50k with crits. It hit 50k and then some. He's even hitting. Okay, well, we're using the fan guys. I don't know what's going on there. But, uh, I was trying to get the Hellabuck cannon. It's way too hard to get the Hellabuck cannon, bro. I tried it. I tried doing it by killing a bunch of colossal squids. Because we have an NPC that sells straight up uh, colossal squids. But, the problem with that is that the colossal squid, the chance for the colossal squids to drop what we need. Uh, it's still 1%. <laughs> so, it's not... It still it wasn't a good percentage. And it's 1%. I killed 50 of them. That's pretty much 50% if you think about it. But, uh, obviously, it's not really how percentages work. And the only other easy way to get it... And I don't even think it's a good or guaranteed way to get it. Is to do the, uh... What is it called? The Eidolon Worm Adult Fight. Which the Eidolon Worm Adult and not the Juvenile is uh, is pretty much like fighting a really fast, really scary Dungeon Guardian. And it's also a worm, by the way. So, it does not seem like the odds are with us when it comes to getting the Hellabuck Cannon. I don't remember what happened in Book if we got the Hellabuck Cannon legit or if we spawned it in just to test how it is because it was the final episode. It was a bonus episode, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't remember. I have no idea. It was a good ass weapon. And the thing is, Book wasn't a ranger. And Book also wasn't in Revenge. Because I hear that weapon. No, actually, I don't know if that weapon benefits from Revenge. I know it benefits from being in post Moonlight. Also, we're a fucking ranger. So it's like. Do I not, do I not hit him? We're rangers. So it's like. What do I do? <laughs> or not, what do I do about that? What could I say? It would do insane fucking damage if it was doing insane damage on a fisherman class. Class that isn't even in Terraria. <laughs> How much damage would it be doing on the actual ranger class? So, like, it would be awesome if we got it, but it's just the odds are against us when it comes to getting it. The odds are really against us when it comes to getting it. But, uh, I don't know what's going on with this boss fight right now. Does he usually reset health mid fight? I'm assuming he does. To extend the length of the fight, but I've just been talking, going off on a tangent the whole time. I haven't been paying attention. But yeah, how clam you drop some new bosses soon? I'm pretty hyped. I want to see some more super bosses. I want to see some new. You know what I'm really hyped about? March is gonna be a good month. So, other than what I was about to say, has nothing with uh, March being a good month. But I'll tell you what, March is gonna be a good month in a second. But I'm really hyped about the Thorium update that's upcoming. Diver Man Sand, if you guys don't know, he uh, unretired from being retired. Uh, he now he was, like retired a couple months ago and then hopped out of retirement again to work on the next Thorium update. Which the next Thorium update consists of a bunch of throwing weapons. A complete overhaul to the throwing class uh, when it comes to progression and everything. Uh, and Thorium... Is Thorium is the one doing it? Thorium, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. I'm being, I'm confusing myself. Thorium, I said Thorium like five times. Thorium is adding in so many throwing items, accessories, and all that because they're trying to, you know, completely overhaul the throwing class and make it like an actual class that, beginning to end, feels just like any regular vanilla turret class. And I'm so hyped for that because I'm definitely, hundred percent, gonna do a separate playthrough specifically for that probably will be thorium only with obviously like you know the little mods juice mod vein miner uh stuff like that and you're like gamers yeah, you just said vein miner louis afk i was actually using those during the uh tremor playthrough like i added them you'll see more videos of the tremor playthrough soon I'm trying to finish that playthrough and i'm also trying to finish the uh b other bard playthrough we have just so we can get some new stream series going but yeah i'm hyped for that that's gonna be so super dope and you know what else i'm hyped for the month of march not only am I possibly moving out uh, this March, 
towards the end of it but captain marvel comes out and fallout 76 first big content update comes out like that's that's fucking pog that's pog champ right there now i've been very upset with fallout 76 um but you know i stuck by it i did my playthrough of it i did multiple playthroughs of that but you know it just got boring after a while because there's not really much content <laughs> after you like get to a certain point and you know I, I didn't hate it i didn't hate it i was upset at first that it was announced as multiplayer but as they showed more for it i was like all right it's pretty dope you guys should know my opinion i shouldn't even have to talk about opinion but i'm hyped for it either way but yeah yarn is dead and that's pretty much it what else do i have to do at this point i doubt you guys are gonna get what was it 200 likes 250 likes in one day so i'm not even worried about fighting supreme calamitas as a bonus episode but our journey has come to an end our journey has come to an end do i have some summoner accessories i want to try something out here before we end off this episode before we send off books series obviously we're gonna do a bonus episode or two um there's one thing i want to test out what are the what do summoner accessories look like <laughs> i have no idea i haven't played summoner in a good minute why did i type in accessory scarab scarab okay there you go increase your maximum number of minions uh so let's get that let's get okay let's get this Jesus Christ, you see how hard it is to right click on things sometimes? This. <laughs> if you guys know what's about to go down, you know what's about to go down. Okay. And you see the size of them now? Oh my God. That's one thick bird. This accessory is awesome. <laughs> Increases minion size by 150%. Look, he stays that size too. <laughs> What the fuck? So that's regular size. Uh, son of yarn. Imagine killing someone's dad and then making them work for you. Uh, boom. <laughs> that's big yarn. All right. So that's going to be the end of the book series. Obviously. Uh, finale. Or not finale. Bonus episodes ain't coming. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for sticking through me with this uh, series. It's been really fun. I enjoyed book series. But we are moving on to the healer also known as he which is a she because it's a female orc and uh it's gonna be it's gonna be a nice reveal obviously there might be a little break in between like i might do a couple mini series slash one-off videos a couple of things i want to fuck with but i will see y'all next time